Hi everyone, it's Twitch65, and today we're building an early World War II French airplane in 172nd scale. The kit is from Hasegawa. Originally it released in 1997, so fairly new, but still lacking details you'd expect from a more modern kit. The D520 plane is a single seat fighter that has some really good looking lines, but it's kind of lost the history because of France's quick exit from the war. In the kit, we have decals and paint schemes for two squadrons, but the basic build is the same for each. The build instructions are quite simple and straightforward, as you'd expect from a Japanese model kit company. It's quite Spartan, and with no supplied pilot, I opted to add some details. Strips of styrene and some masking tape seat belts are about all I could do, as once the cockpit is buttoned up, not much of it will be visible, especially at this scale. I used dark gray blue, as was called out in the painting guide, for all the interior parts and the wheel wells. Assembly started with adding the painted cockpit to the fuselage and then to the other half. Mini clothespins make excellent model clamps. One of the odd things on this build was that using the locating pins on the wings, I could not get the wings to line up front to back or side to side. So I decided I'm going to file away the pins. I've never done this in the past, but not being able to get the alignment right, I had to do an eyeball on the wings. And it actually worked very well. Another new task I set for myself on this build was to cut the elevators from the horizontal stabilizers. This process started with deepening the panel lines with a new X-Acto blade and finishing the parting with a micro razor saw. The elevator was reshaped by sanding so that it sat at a downward angle and glued in place. Once the glue had cured, the gap was partially filled to give a more realistic look. With the aircraft being parked on the ground for display purposes, the hydraulics would not be running and those flaps would droop down towards the ground. A side benefit of filing the locating pins off the wings to help align the top and bottom elements was that it also gave me a much improved fit on the wing roots to the point that I didn't need to fill that gap at all. The rest of the build is pretty standard fare. And so I'm just gonna hit fast forward and let you watch. After priming in light gray, the painting started with the bottom color. It's a very light gray, almost the same shade as the primer. Up next was painting the ranules, and all of which started with a coat of flat white paint in the general locations of where the national markings would be. And now on to the fun stuff. For blue, I used the Army Painter's Electric Blue. The red was an 80-20 mix of Alejo's Vermilion and German Camo Brown. Vertical stripes, they're so easy. The wings and fuselage required a series of masks, which I cut from masking tape using my wife's Cricut machine. I ended up hand painting the blue circle in the middle, as it would be easier than just getting out the airbrush for such a small little bit of paint. I used Tamiya tape to cover all the national markings and the underside, which allowed for a quick all over spray of neutral gray, which is the top coat base color. I then masked off the areas that were to stay gray and applied an intermediate green color by Vallejo all over the top of the model.
I then added the green camo masks before a final shot of chocolate brown. When the paint was dry, but not completely cured, about 10 minutes or so, off came all the masking. With it, the big reveal of the Ranules and the Pilot's White Arrow design. This is always my favorite part of the build, seeing all the painted markings and camos and all their factory fresh colors. With that done, it's time to dirty this bird. The entire airplane got a quick gloss coat. That way the enamel panel liners would be able to wick down to the recesses. It also gave the few remaining decals I had something to grip to as they set. Lastly, and I forgot to film this, some light dusting and streaking with earth-toned pastel powders. And with a quickly built diorama base and a Hasegawa 172 scale fighter pilot painted, the diorama is complete. Hope you enjoyed this scale model build. And if you did, please consider a like and a subscribe.